Let's talk about fragrance because this really is what started me on my journey to looking at what our products contained and what's safe and what's not. What I learned about fragrance is that it is an umbrella term, fragrance or perfume. You'll see that together or you'll see it separate. But it is an umbrella term for up to 3,000 chemicals. So if you asked a company, your product contains fragrance, but what under that they would not be able to tell you because most of the time they just get the fragrance from a, another company and then they put it in their products and they don't really know as long as it smells the way they want it to smell. So that is difficult if you have a sensitivity to really pinpoint what is causing issues in your body. And what's really alarming is that a company does not ever have to disclose that because it can it is considered a trade secret. So they never have to disclose what is in that fragrance ingredient. So fragrance is typically just used to mask unpleasant smells or, or make it more attractive for you to purchase. We love things that smell good, right? But what we really don't know is what fragrance is doing to us. So synthetic fragrance, now if you've walked by somebody who's wearing a synthetic fragrance uh, perfume and it just gives you an instant headache, well it can cause anything from a minor he headache to migraines. Um, it is linked to impacting vision, hearing, can contribute to respiratory problems. If there's anybody in your home that struggles with anything respiratory, the fragrance needs to be the first thing that goes. Absolutely. It's been linked to re reproductive toxicity, hormone disruptions, central nervous system disorders, and even cancer. So fragrance in small doses maybe, but fragrance is in everything, and would you agree? So if I gave you, I mean, there would be a, a list of a mile long, long of what products have fragrance in them, and it is the easiest thing for you to look for and ditch. So anytime you see fragrance and perfume, perfume, you just don't want it in there. But you'll find fragrance in soaps, cleaners, perfumes, lotions, garbage bags. They put fragrance in tampons. They put fragrance in, I mean, think about that. They put fragrance in diapers. So if your skin is the largest organ of your body, and it is, and it's going directly in your bloodstream over and over and over and over and over, imagine what it's doing to your hormones and to your emotional wellness and to your skin and all that. So also fragrance um, can be in unscented products because they'll put a fragrance to make the product smell like nothing. So beware of that as well. Real world examples, I mean, I don't even think I really need to tell you, but Febreze, have you walked by a Bath and Body Works? Everything in there has fragrance. Mrs. Myers, yes, Mrs. Myers. Uh, Dove hand soap, Pampers, diapers, Johnson & Johnson products. So again, when you flip it over, look for, if you see anything listed as fragrance slash parfum or either or, don't put it in your cart.